Eight weeks ago, President Obama stood before the country and said, we are not at war with radical Islam. There is no war on terror. Al-Qaeda is on the run. And now, Greg, the Al-Qaeda uh, Al leader, Zawahiri, is said to have ordered terror attacks. Um, so if Al-Qaeda is on the run, how is he able to be calling and ordering terror attacks? And doesn't this administration owe us a bit of an answer now since they've been telling us we're not at war with Islam? Uh, I don't know. All I know is there's a solution to all of this, and it rhymes with fracking. You know, <laughs> it really is. If we if we don't, we shouldn't be relying on this part of the world anymore. If we just make our own fuel, goodbye, crazy village. <laughs> Good to see you. We have to drive by. It's like that crazy house on the block. You just go, see you later, death cult. Uh, you know, these are like weeds that grow in neglected places. When they show up around you, you pull them. But the lesson is the United States needs a moat. And we need to have our own fuel to ensure our own safety, and uh, then we don't. Then we never have to deal with it. Has anybody has anybody heard one leader of a Muslim country, one who has stood up for the United States in the course of all these terrorist attacks? Is that, can anybody remember? There one? are none. There are well, none. Well, that's not. There, I mean, in the wake of 9/11, there were. There were. I can't think of any of their yeah, names. They, they paid the Muhammad same kind of. There was Epcot, Epcot Center, <laughs> right. in, in Florida, I believe, stood up for. But, but, but look right across the river in Jersey City from 9/11, as the towers were coming down, there were people dancing on the rooftops. So it's not just the Muslim world; it's what happens here in this country. No, I and think David, that like there's radicals here. Um, it, there's radicals. You can find radicals in any movement. I, I, there's a lot of them, and not, not enough of the moderates speak out against them. But I don't. If, look, let's just say, if every Muslim was a radical, <laughs> the, the, the world would trouble. be a real different yeah, but place. That's but, they are, yeah. but, I, I, but I think that's understating it. I mean, they have been fighting us since the days of Benjamin Franklin, David. Mm -hmm. This is bigger than oil. This is bigger than everything else. They want to kill us. They're not going to stop until everybody in this country Use your favorite is word. a Muslim or is ruled by Muslims, no matter how nice we are. And say, they're radicalizing well, the younger and younger. Say younger caliphate. Younger. The we're, you we're not, they want a caliphate. They want the caliphate. Yes. But here, here's, <laughs> Whatever what we have to here's what we have to realize. There have been movements movements all along the way and going back to 39 when Hitler partnered with the Mufti of Jerusalem and they formed the brigade, the first Muslim brigade. Does anybody notice that the salute in Iran looks very close to the Nazi salute? Think about how the modern charge started. Then you get the Muslim Brotherhood. This is a militancy, and a militancy does not want to stay within borders. They want that caliphate. They have different strategies. They have the urban strategy. They have the terrorist strategy. They have the political strategy. They have the Council on American-Islamic Relations. They have influence in the yes. White House. They have influence in White Houses along the way. They're, they have a strategy to a win. And by the way, here's a number that really should scare you. If only 10% of Muslims worldwide are radicalized, it is the largest standing army in the globe's history. Hey, is that right? That's about, it. Is that right about the Hitler and the who? The Mufti? Of yeah. The Mufti of Jerusalem, 1939. There was they also a, a Pew study that brigade. polled Americans here in this country and their feelings toward radical Islam, and they're more sympathetic than you'd think. Dana, can I ask you about the White House's reaction to these, um, to these terror threats? They've come out and they've said now that the core of al-Qaeda has been decimated. But they've been telling us Basically, we're not at war with Islam for a really long time. How do they message this at this point when they haven't well, been I dealing think with the, it? Well, the most important thing to do for them right now is just to do the right thing, whatever that is, operationally, to get it done. And they can worry about the politics later. I, I do think that they have a political problem. The, the thing is, they don't think they do. Ma'am. They don't that's, care. That's the, that's the they, it, doesn't, they, it doesn't matter to them. That's the more but the most important thing they can do is just not worry about the politics uh, or the PR, hopefully. Although I do, it, it is very interesting. That tonight President Obama is going to be on the Jay Leno show, and lo and behold, there's an arrest in the Benghazi. Well, let's. Well, can I just make That's one other point? Is going to play a I know we've got to go, but <laughs> but Al Qaeda, they all kept off cell phones. Remember that's because they were getting knocked mm -hmm. off as a result. I think it's a little unusual that all of a sudden we're picking up all this traffic. You don't know that they were completely off cell phones. Um, we, we don't. They when, were using Obama phones. Wayne, I don't know. Wayne Simmons, who's a uh, former CIA agent, said that they know how we detect their chatter, and they. Wanted to but get chatter caught, can and be that in, is why that's what I think. chatter I think can they be wanted in lots of different ways, and that's why the metadata story on the NSA. It's not just about phone numbers; well, it's about lots of different ways to communicate. I, th I think they're messing with our heads. Yeah, I do too. Things. They're I think probing they us, to get and caught. this is something they do. They morph and they probe us. Our response tells them what the I next know. thing is. I would take it and seriously. They don't repeat their strategy. Well, you got to take it seriously, but I still think they're messing with our heads. No, it's well, a that's brand the point now, of terrorism. Okay. You just wear the jersey. You don't have to be part of a cell. They've made us scared.